Discord is trying to put an end to creepy users that send you videos of them wonking their willy by adding three major features. Now, do I think these features will actually work and keep people safe on Discord? Well, we'll see. Now, the first feature Discord is working on is image blurring. Now, if you're a Big Apple fanboy and you huff the farts of Tim Cook, you might have already known that iOS 17 has a sensitive content warning, which basically is a setting that if someone sends you a, a raunchy photo or video, then your iPhone will tell you this video was packing a, an extra package, so to speak. In Discord, decided to uh, just take a peek at uh, Apple's homework and definitely not copy it exactly because now we have a new experimental feature called explicit media redaction. Now basically what this feature does is that when you get sent a photo that has a little extra length and girth, then Discord will block the image. Now here's the thing, Discord's not gonna just block images that have a little bit of penicillin in them. In fact, Discord will also block videos from weirdos that uh, send you gore. In my case, however, I have a thing where it will block every single image. You see this image up here? Nothing bad, oh, it's blurred. Now currently looking at this blurred image, uh, if I click on it, nothing happens. And that's just because I have a weird version of this experiment. It actually turns out that Discord will allow you to unblock and show these images, and thank you to Discord previews, link in the description for having this image for me to use, but yes, you should be able to unblock images if it's something that you're certain you want to see. Now we all know that Discord is a 100% perfect platform. Just kidding. In some cases it might accidentally flag an image as sensitive, and what you can do is you can actually mark the image as not sensitive. In this case I think it's just better left hidden. I feel more like a degenerate the longer I look at this. Now going back to my blurred image, we can see some text down here saying why we hide some media, and if you click on it, Discord will show you a pop-up, which uh, I don't like reading, I'm gonna click on the button that says go to settings because yes, you can customize the behavior of the system depending on where you get the message from. If someone sends you an image in DMs from a friend, you can show, blur, or block that image, assuming it is deemed as sensitive. If it's a DM from some random person, you can block, blur, or show it. And if someone sends some raunchy stuff in a Discord server, you can either show or blur it. Now, while really the topic of this whole entire thing is to prevent creepy people from sending uh, nude images to teens, as an adult, this is actually really useful because sometimes I don't want to see a wiener on Discord. But if you are a teenager, things are actually quite different because apparently, if you are a teenager, the sensitive media will be forced to be blurred, which means you might not be able to go to the settings and have show as an option. It might just be blur or block. But that's not a super bad thing because in the case of false positives, you can always just click and show what the attached is. Now I want to point out that this blurring feature is kind of doomed to fail because Discord's filtering system right now is atrocious. So I'm on an alt account right now and I'm going to send myself some nasty content. And editor, if you do not blur this, I'm going to lose my job. But if I try sending this image, it sends? Uh huh? <laughs> I specifically picked out a, a photo that would be blocked by Discord, but magically it is now unblocked. The filter's even worse than I thought. Finally, after 10 different images sent to myself of varying types of adult content, I have finally found an image that will get blocked by Discord. It is a photo of a man holding a tube of meat. Now, I'm gonna do a little bit of a magic trick, and all I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of a, a purple dot kind of towards the bottom. I turned it into Thanos' dong. Now, if I copy this image, paste it into Discord, and editor me once again, if you don't blur this, we're going homeless. And if I press enter, kaboom! Why am I excited about this? Anyways, all it took was just a little bit of purple color at the bottom of the meat stick and kaboom, now it's sent through Discord. What has my life become? Now let's move on to the second feature that Discord is doing in terms of keeping people safe from strangers. Because if you get approached by a very reputable and handsome guy, Discord will straight up tell you to uh, K-Y-S. Yes, Discord will tell you to keep yourself safe when talking to new people. If you get a message from a new user, Discord will show you this pop-up where it allows you to block them, dismiss the notification, or click on more tips to keep yourself safe. And while I was editing this bad boy, Discord changed up their safety tips, so I'm gonna read you the new ones, which are significantly better than the old ones. But safety tip number one, trust your gut. If something feels off, you can always take a break. Safety tip number two, be careful with private details like your full name, school, or how to find you off Discord. And safety tip number three, if you need help, you are not alone. Talk to a trusted adult and report messages to us anytime. And let me tell you, these new tips are actually a lot better because the last ones didn't even tell you to talk to a trusted adult. It just said report the message to Discord. Yeah, that's gonna help. And since we're talking about reporting a message to Discord, the third thing, oh god, uh, I forgot where I was at. I, that just kind of flashbanged me there. But Discord is working on two different reporting features. One of them's already out, and the second one is a special reporting feature. So the first feature I'm gonna talk about is quite simple. If you get messaged by some weird Discord creep, you can click on their profile. Well, what you can actually do is you can click on the three 
dots next to their profile and click on report user profile, where you get to report their user profile, whether it be their photo, their name, or their text descriptors, so their about me status or pronouns, click on next, and then you just go through the normal reporting process of this is annoying, spam, unsafe, inappropriate, etc. And then you can submit report. Considering Discord's reporting system feels like it never works, my hopes aren't high for this one, but you know what? Only time will tell. Now, the second thing Discord is working on in terms of their reporting system is honestly uh, kind of stupid. Because if you go to discord.com slash report, you get to see this beautiful page. Wow. There's nothing on it at all. This was a waste of time. Actually, it's not, because what's supposed to show up on this website is actually hidden from public view, but it's supposed to show this little box here saying report illegal content. And there's two big buttons that tell you to report a message or report a user profile. And what this website allows you to do is report people on Discord without being logged in, which is confusing, because one, how do you even get the message link or how do you get a user profile without being logged in? And two, has Discord thought about the fact that people are just going to mass report a whole bunch of people because you don't have to be logged in, so there's no risk to your account, that's going to be an issue again. Yeah, this is awesome. Now, the reason why Discord added in this report illegal content thing is because of the Digital Services Act. The Digital Services Act is basically just making the internet safe. Basically, very large platforms, aka Discord, need to have some sort of way of reporting criminal offenses. So this little report illegal content thing is really just used for that, so that, you know, Europe is happy. So overall, all these these features combined together seems like Discord is trying to improve the platform and also cut a little bit down on e-dating. And I really want to make it clear that Discord is not the right platform for dating. You need to go on a platform that facilitates dating, like Roblox, for example, with their dating experiences. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I got, gamer. Uh, adios. I'm going to have ice cream after this. I'm excited. Bye-bye.